Unit 8, and what we're looking at um, is systems of inequalities. We just finished systems of equations, linear equations. And if you remember, I mean, when you graph them, you're looking for the point of intersection. Substitution elimination, it's the point that satisfies both equations at the same time. So what this is, it's really simple. It's a system of inequalities. You have two inequalities. Uh, they're linear, so you're going to graph them on the same plane. And it's where those inequalities intersect each other. Remember, inequalities have more than one solution. Uh, that's what they are. I mean, the greater than, less than, those type of things. They're the greater than and the less than things that you've seen before. And you remember that Sully taught these in section 6.7. So if you forget how to graph these, you need to go re-watch 6.7, have Sully teach you again. Or maybe it's just a good idea to go watch it for a quick uh, refresher on how to do these. Um, we're going to jump right to it with some uh, examples. Okay, is 3, negative 5 a solution to the system of inequalities above? All right, so let's try it out. What you have to do is you have to plug in the x to the x and the y to the y. Let me write that inequality out. All right, and we'll write the second one out. 2x plus y is less than 8. All right, we'll change colors here and get going. Um, what about 3, negative 5? Is 3 minus negative 5 greater than 7. 3 minus negative, se negative 5 is 8, and 8 is greater than 7, so that one checks out. What about 3, negative 5 down here? 2 times 3 plus negative 5, is that less than 8? So we get 6 plus negative 5, which is 1. Is 1 less than 8? Yes, it is. So uh, 3, 5, 3, negative 5 is a solution. So yes, it is a solution. Hey, perfect. How about the next point? 5, negative 2. We'll do that one up here. Is 5 minus negative 2 greater than 7? Well, we get 7. Is 7 greater than 7? No, actually it isn't. If it said greater than equal to, we'd be all right, but it doesn't. It just says greater than. And 7 not greater than 7, so uh, 5, negative 2, the answer would be no. It's not a solution of that equation. All right? Oh, wait. Oh, I'm feeling so sleepy. Uh Sleepy. Oh, sleepy. Oh, man, now do you really want to go back and do that again? Really? I don't think so. So you better pay attention now and uh, review how to graph these. Otherwise, you're going to have to go back and watch Sully's 6, 7 lesson. All right, so to graph an inequality, what you need to do is solve it for y, put it in slope-intercept form, just like a regular uh, line that you graph, any old equation. Okay, inequalities work the same way when you're solving them. They'll cancel out. What do we get here? 2y is less than or equal to negative 3x plus 6. Remember, you can't combine those because they're not like terms. We divide everything by 2. And we get y is less than or equal to negative 3 halves x plus 3. There's our first equation. Let's graph it. Let's see what that looks like. All right, so let's get our line. Oh, we'll use a blue line. So the blue line, what are we going to do? We need to go, let me make the points though first. You need to go up 3, put a point on the y-axis, and then down 3 to the right 2. Here, do we write these out? You should write these out. So down 3 to the right 2. All right, so from this point, down 3 to the right 2, we'll put you here. Down 3 to the right 2 more, we'll put you there. And we're going to do a line. Let's do a solid line here. Ta-da! All right, I'm going to adjust it a little bit. Why is it a solid line, you remember? Because it's equal to, if it's equal to, if it's underlined, then you put a solid line. Otherwise, you put a, dollar, a dotted line. Now let's look at our other example here. X is less than 2. Well, do you know how to graph X equals 2? You should by now. X equals 2 is a vertical line. goes straight up and down. Anytime you have X equals any number, goes straight up and down. So we're going to look here. It goes straight up and down at 2, and it's not equal to. It's just less than, strictly less than. So we're going to use a dotted line. So we'll put the dotted line right here. Now, the fun part. You have to shade each half of these. So let's go back to the first inequality again and see what's going on there. The red one. All right, so uh, y is less than 
or equal to negative 3 halves x plus 3. So less than is under the line. Do you remember that? So we're going to shade under this line. This is the most fun kids will have in algebra if you have a whole bunch of crayons and you enjoy coloring like I do. Coloring is fun. You're never too old to color. All right, so remember that goes underneath the line. Let's change to blue now for x is less than 2. So which side of this line? You can't do the underneath trick for this, by the way. You have to uh, figure out whether this side is less or this side is less. Well, common sense here. Which x numbers are smaller? The ones on the left. Here's 2. What's less than 2? 1. That's on the left. 0. That's on the left. So we're going to graph these, or we're going to shade on the on this side of it. Ooh. So we're going to, I am an excellent shader. They should have an Olympic event for shading and I would win. All right, so can you see this part in the middle that's double shaded? This part right here, that's our solution set. So to make it clear for you, what I'm going to do is take our little highlighter thing and I'm going to outline it. Okay, it goes underneath this, but at the same time you have to be right of X is less than 2. And we're going to shade this whole area here. This is double shaded. Now, some students... They like to, you know, draw the lines like I just did. You can see that gets kind of messy. Other students will shade these light and shade the solution dark. Um, what you want to do is kind of figure out where the solution is going to be before you start shading. That way you can communicate it clearly to your teacher so there's no questions. Be nice and neat while you do that. All right, so example three. This is a triple decker. This thing is huge. You got to do three of these at the same time. So pause the video and graph all three of these on your paper. Go. All right. Did you get these three lines here? Uh, let's see what we get. The first line is right here. Uh, y is greater than or equal to negative 1. It's a solid line because it's equal to. And the line Y equals negative 1 is this black line here. So we want to shade on top of the black line. I'm going to hold off on the shading for a second till we're done. Let's look at the next one. X is greater than negative 2. So the line x equals negative 2 is a vertical line right here at negative 2. If this is the origin, 0, 0, here's negative 2. Now, which side would we shade? We're already on top of the black. This would have to be to the right because x is greater than negative 2. These numbers on the right, these are our big numbers. These are our small numbers, so you shade to the right. So right now we have on top of the black and to the right of the uh, red one, the last line, you got to solve it for y. And you get y is less than or equal to negative 1 half x plus 2. So you go up to, no, oh, our line's off by one there. Who did that? Mr. Kelly. There we go. So you go up two and then down one over two. This whole long, it's all messed up. There's that one. Is it solid? Yes, it is because it is equal to. Now, do we shade this? Remember Sully shortcut? If it's less than, you go underneath. So you shade underneath on this one. And so we're looking to the right of the red, on top of the black, and underneath the blue, all at the same time. So that works out to this area right in here. It's a nice little triangle. And you'll find out that most of these work out to like a nice little triangle. Or maybe it's a shape like a rectangle or something of that nature. All right, let's look at the next one. All right, example four. Is the point zero, negative one a solution to the following system of inequalities? All right, so we just have to, there's a couple ways. They don't give you the equations. You could just plug it in the equations if you had it. Um, but we're going to look at the picture now. 0, negative 1 is right here. Now, is that in the shaded region? No, it's on the dotted line. We'll talk more about that later. But it has to be in both uh, solution sets. It has to be in both shaded regions. So that one's going to be a big no. Let's try the next one. 2, negative 2. Over 2, down negative 2. That is safely in the shaded region. Yes, that is a solution to this inequality. What about 2, negative 5? Over 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That is on the dotted line. Now, if you remember, the dotted line is when it is not equal to. It's just strictly, in this case, it'd be greater than, which means all these points up here are greater than. But if you're on the line, you're not greater than. You're equal to. And so in this case, because you're on the dotted line, it'd be no. It's not going to be included. What about 3, 0? 1, 2, 3. Now this one's on the solid line. Now the solid line, 
is included in the sh solution set. And so because the point is on the solid line and it's on the shaded, it's in the sh shaded region here, then we say yes. Well, that's not too hard. Hey, can you do that? Next one. Last one. Shade both of these. Go. Pause the video. Pause the video. Uh, lines first. We have to do our shading now. So I'm going to shade the first one. Y is greater than 1 half X plus 1. That's the top line. Greater than is on top. Uh-oh. That's not how it's looking like it's supposed to be. What do we do here? Next one. Change up that color. Y is less than or equal to 1 half X minus 2. So you go down 2, then up 1 over 2. You know how to make those lines. So look, that's this shaded region here. Where do they intersect? In this one, they don't intersect anywhere because the lines are parallel and the shaded regions are on the, op the outsides of the extremes. So this one, do you know what we put down? You know what we put down? No solution. This one has no solution because they don't intersect anywhere. Be careful that these lines truly are parallel. You can look right here. Their slopes, they're the same, so you know it's parallel. Hey, guess what? That is everything. We are all done with all of our stuff. Cha chow Let's leave you a little more baby monkey. Good luck. Do the review. Remember, it's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. See ya! Baby monkey.